Hello, this is Tofman Trifle Productions with another Blender quick tip. And in this quick tip, I'm going to introduce you to a an add-on called the Space Ship Generator add-on for Blender, and it's free, it's open source. And I've never really looked at it that much, but it did kind of pique my interest, so I just wanted us to kind of tour it together. Now it's just the same process. I'll leave a link uh, of the add-ons download description and below below this video and I have to go to the regular normal way of installing the add-on go to file or actually edit and then preferences and then install and then navigate to wherever you saved that add-on onto your system just click on the place where you've uh, saved it and click install add-on I've already done that let me see, let me type it in here and make sure that once you've done that, you've put a check in the uh, box right here. And in order to access it, the way to ac access this add-on, you just go to the uh, 3D viewport and click on add and it'll pop up the pop-up menu which will have the mesh to start the process, which is what we're going to do right now. So I'm going to delete this cube, delete that, and then press shift A and go to, go to mesh. And we're going to navigate downward and there it is and let's click on that and see what happens and it looks pretty much like a basic geometric shape here uh, but let's look at it in uh, a different viewport a shader which would be cycles so let's click on that change it from EV to cycles if you have a strong graphics card, change it to GPU, adds a lighter world background to it. Make it blue like that, and then let's click on that icon, see what we can see. Oh, okay, this is a bit of a surprise here, because I did not expect to see all this detail in the side, on the sides of the spaceship. I thought it was, I mean, from the other viewport which is the the gray flat shading viewport it just looks like it's just basic geometric shapes you know pulled out and pulled in and so on and so forth you got the spheres here and things like that and you would assume that when you go into a the uh, the uh, cycles viewport you would pretty much get the same thing but it's surprisingly not that way there's a lot of detail in this more than I thought there would be you got some torrent guns here Okay, then I think you can actually also change the color of the spaceships. Let me see. Let's go to the material tab here. Oh, it's got so it actually not only does it create the uh, 3D model of the spaceship for you, it actually also gives you the material slots for each aspect of the spaceship. So you can change the color, the hull, which is the body of it. Let's see if we can change it to something else, and it does it. The whole lights, you can change those. The whole dark, I don't know what that is, but let me see what happens when we change that to a different color. Let's spin this around so we can see what we can see. I guess that's at the bottom here. Oh, that's cool. The exhaust burn, glow disc, and that's at the back. Where the, uh, the fumes come out or the jet propulsion comes from. So this is a pretty cool looking uh, generator. I thought it was going to be pretty basic, pretty simple. But let's test one other thing. Usually with an add-on like this, if you make adjustments to the uh, geometry, it affects the uh, end result. If we like were to kind of extrude out a part or push in a part, it would mess up all the details on the hull. But let's test that out. Let's see what will happen if we do that. Let me see. Let's go into edit mode by pressing tab on our keyboard. And let's uh, go to face select. Let's get this side here. Go to our, nav to our navigational gizmo there. And let's pull this out on the, let me see, the Y axis. Left click and drag on the Y axis. Actually, let's, let's redo that. Let's press E to extrude. Then left click to accept that, uh, that change. And then left click and drag on the Y axis and see what we can see. Let's kind of reposition our window here. Now, if this add-on is as good as I think it is, us pulling out these set of faces should not actually affect the uh, extra geometry. 
So let's make sure that, let's at least see what happens. Let's press tab, get out of edit mode, and go back into cycles. And let's see what we can see. Oh, would you look at that. The geometry, or the, the details and the geometry, are it actually, <laughs> that's impressive. It actually added it to the part that we just added to the geometry. That's, that, that's pretty good. So yeah, this add-on isn't bad at all. And I think what it does too is that when you, every time you create a uh, new spaceship with the add-on, it makes or creates a different kind of spaceship. Let's test that out also. So let's uh, get our move gizmo, move this over. It's going to generate it right here. So let's let's do that. Again. Let's create another spaceship. Shift A, mesh. Let's toggle all the way down and click on spaceship. And yeah, it gave us a different spaceship. And I'm assuming this one also has that same kind of uh, detailed um, texture on the side of it. So let's see what that looks like. This one's great. You can also change the color for this one. And yeah, it gives us the same kind of um, detail in terms of the, uh, the texture on the side of it. It gives us these little spaceship windows. So this is one cool add-on. I'm not a big fan of the spikes here. I would kind of change that or delete that. But besides that, this isn't bad at all. I thought I was going to actually have to make another tutorial in terms of the Blender Quickie aspect of it when it comes to con trying to modify this to look better than what it is but it doesn't need much improvement at all except for some minor changes to if you're not into the spikes you can get rid of those but besides that this is a pretty cool add-on so yeah this is the spaceship generator add-on and it's actually really really impressive so uh, I hope you guys are just intrigued by this as I am and once again thank you guys who have subscribed to my channel or to the channel and thank you guys who are subscribing right now. And thank you guys who have been watching the videos. And I really appreciate you guys. And I will see you guys on the next one. All right. Adios.